Hi everyone, my name is William McNeil. Today this video is put together to go over uh, several exercises uh, to target and alleviate neck pain. Okay, so let's start off with exercise number one. This muscle located right here in the front of the neck is called the sternocleidomastoid. Okay, it's this big muscle right here and you have one on each side, okay? What you wanna do to stretch this muscle, if this is feeling tight, and this could usually feel tight from below your ear all the way down right into your clavicle. And all we simply do to stretch this muscle is turn our head all the way, not to an extreme degree, but to a comfortable amount, approximately, I don't know, 160 degrees, and just t tilt your head back. And you're gonna feel that stretch all the way up and be mindful when you're doing this the important thing and a lot of people don't cover is that you need to keep your shoulders back right if you don't keep your posture straight you're not effectively stretching the muscle in the most optimal way okay and you want to do this on each side and i don't hold for an extreme amount of 30 seconds i don't hold any of these exercises for a period beyond 10 seconds because i think of holistically stretching the neck right Th through each of the exercises so i don't want to spend an extreme amount on one if you feel a particular muscle needs a little bit more work then of course you can expand that time beyond 10 seconds but you're also going to want to repeat the stretch on the opposite side of course right okay and now we're going to go over exercise number two the classic trapezius stretch okay now i'm just going to take my left hand i'm going to put it on the top of my or side bends next side bends and i'm just going to pull my head towards my opposite shoulder. Now the key here when you're doing this exercise is that you want to make sure your shoulders are back and your posture is upright and your thoracic spine is an extension. You want to be up, chest up and back and pull. So you're stretching the muscle optimally. Okay. And I, you, you, I just hold for a period of 10 seconds and you can repeat that. Now, this is the probably the missing key of this exercise is, yes, I did this in a lateral side bend, but now let's change it up a bit. Let's point my head at a 45 degree angle, shoulders back, posture up, and repeat. Now, I'm doing the same exercise, but I'm targeting the fibers in a various angle and, and targeting various other muscles in my neck when I'm doing this, okay? Okay, and now we can take this even a step further. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is turn my neck to approximately 180 degrees because 180 would be ridiculous. Shoulders back, chest up, turn my head, left hand on the side of my head here, and just stretch. And just hold that for a period of 10 seconds. Okay, now I guarantee you that these trapezius stretches are going to make a big difference, especially when you incorporate the various angles into performing this exercise. Okay, now for another exercise, okay? This is called the levator scapula stretch, okay? So once again, you should ideally repeat these exercises on both sides. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my right hand this time because I've been kind of stretching out uh, this side of my neck a lot from the previous ones. So I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to just reach behind my head. Same principles apply. Shoulders up, shoulders back, chest out. And I'm just going to turn my head towards my right armpit. And I'm going to try and just kind of read them. This one takes a little bit of practice, okay? Because how you grip your head where you grip your head really determines how effective the stretch is, okay? So, and it takes some practice, so you'll have to be patient with it and you'll, you'll figure out what works for you. But ideally, and essentially what you're going to be doing is looking into your right armpit, kind of turning your head at like a 45 degree angle or a little bit further potentially, and you just reach behind kind of with your, your tips of your fingers and your kind of your left uh, upper occipital area and you're just gonna pull down while well, maintaining straight posture. Don't bend your back. You just wanna be moving your neck. You don't wanna be turning your body. You don't wanna be moving and arching your back forward. You just wanna 
up, upright posture, shoulders back, and just pull. Now I feel this all through here. My occipitals feel this, my levator scapula feels this. Oh, I really feel that, that's good. Keep your, back, your uh, thoracic spine in extension, upright posture, and just hold for a period of 10 seconds. Oh, that feels great. For this exercise, you're probably wondering why I'm turned to my side. This is just for a better profile so you guys can see better. Okay, so now this exercise is called the chin tuck. You can either do this standing against uh, the corner of a wall where two walls meet, or you can do this sitting. Okay, so essentially what you're going to be doing is just sitting upright in a chair. You can do this standing or sitting. It doesn't really matter. And just pull your chin back. You want to create this double chin. And you're just going to hold that for five seconds. And relax and repeat. So what you're essentially doing is you're pulling your whole neck and your head back. You're pulling it back. And you're going to feel this in the back of your neck. You're going to feel this in your SCMs. But you're going to feel it primarily in the back of your neck. And it really stretches out like uh, the, your occipitals as well. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, a, uh, another stretch uh, that works the back of the neck and occipitals. And uh, it's a, a forward flexion stretch. Okay. So, uh, chest up, shoulders back. You're going to take both of your hands, place them behind the back of your head, okay? And you're going to keep your thoracic spine in extension, upright posture, with both hands interlocked on the back of your head. Interlocked or not, I find I can get a better stretch with them interlocked. You can also just kind of place them on the back of your head. But I find I can get a deeper and stronger stretch with my fingers interlocked. And being mindful of your posture, you're not going to arch your back, just going to move the neck. And I'm going to move it towards my chest. Slowly. Deeper. You're just going to pull. You don't need to pull your neck up, you're just pulling your your neck down. If you feel you need to do a correction, check your posture, mind those shoulders, watch your chest, watch your thoracic spine, which is your mid-back, make sure everything's straight. You just want your neck bending down. And you're just going to hold this for like 20 to 30 seconds. <sighs> Breathe through your nose. You can pull deeper into that stretch. Try to make sure your chin isn't touching. You, you're kinda, you kind of want your neck pulling away and down. So you're maximizing the stretch in your occipitals, in the back of your neck. And we release. Oh. The final exercise uh, to incorporate into this routine uh, isn't necessarily a neck stretch, but it, it does relate to the mechanics of your neck and it's called the doorway chest stretch. Okay, you want to find yourself a doorway in your house or apartment. In my place, it just so happens to be the kitchen. So what you're going to want to do is put each arm, your forearm, against the uh, doorway frame. And I'm just going to put my right foot forward, and I'm just going to lean into this. Okay, I'm just pushing my entire chest forward. Feel it in my lower back a little bit too, but primarily my upper. If you do feel in the lower back a little bit, just extend your back foot, your back, your back foot back a little bit more, and that'll put more of the focus on your chest, right? It's kind of like a lunge, but you're putting all the weight in your chest, right? And to adjust where you want to feel this stretch more, you can either raise your arms higher or lower, or you can repeat the exercise for a period of 10 seconds in a high, mid, and lower position to effectively stretch out the entire area of the chest. And I also recommend to repeat this with the opposite foot forward as well, so you're not favoring one side. 
Hey guys, well I hope you enjoyed today's video and the array of exercises that I performed. Uh, please uh, like and subscribe and follow for more. Uh, I will be demonstrating uh, more exercises and stretches that I incorporate into my daily routine to help me stay pain-free and happy.